people, boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obsidian Joe PT and welcome to the OGS Gaming. So for today, what I do bring you here, it is Conan Exiles, I promised myself that this channel would be only playthroughs from beginning to the end of the games, but with no commentaries, but you know, the Conan Exiles developers, the Funcom, decided to offer me a key to try out the game, to benchmark the game, and so I also decided to make uh, a full playthrough of this game, but since this is uh, some sort of a survival game, I need to break up some rules, and uh, the rules are we need to make this playthrough with commentaries. Also, it will be separated in episodes. Each episode I want it to be around 25 minutes to 40 minutes, okay? And I want you to show, to show you a little bit what you can expect from Conan Exiles. So, uh, I'm playing, I'm going to play this on the PC and my PC is rather old so I'll be playing at 30 frames per second instead of 60 and I will be using median settings which should be very close to the experience that uh, a PS4 or an Xbox One uh, should get in this game. Nonetheless, I could play this game on PvP or PvA. PvP I don't think it's a good idea because um, this might happen like all the other survival games, which is uh, you start very weak and you get a lot of people on spawn trying to kill you. Mostly uh, it might be people that are more powerful, so PvP doesn't seem like a good thing if you, are a, if you want to play Conan Exiles and stream or do some content. I don't think it's a good idea, so I'm not going to use PvP. PVA, I'm also having some trouble with some servers, so what really do happen is my internet connection is not very strong and there is a lot of ping applied and I would need to play also in the same server as usual because if I would go to a different server all my progression would be lost including my character and stuff like that. So because of that and I'm very glad to announce that Conan Exiles also supports single player or cooperative. So we are going to play on a single player, this can be a little bit lonely, but that's exactly why I will be talking to you on this series. So let's start the new game, I'm going to overwrite uh, what I had in here. And so you can personalize like the different qualities, you can go with civilizers, which is uh, basically the, you know, the easy difficulty of uh, uh, what you can expect, like there is a thing called the perch that do often do weapons on from time to time and doesn't really attack your base. The decadence, um, it's uh, pretty much a normal experience which you can get uh, from the Conan Exiles. And if you are very confident and uh, about you know um, about what you are able to do in this game, you can go with barbaric, which is the hard difficulty. Well, I'm honest with you, I'm not really into survival games, but uh, I'm willing to try single player survival games. So I'm going to deck, I'm going to use Decadent, but nonetheless, let me show you the custom. You can personalize, for example, the map, the message of the day, so you can create your own server and adjust the nighttime sweep. So we have a lot of stuff that you can personalize in here, but let's just forget about that and let's start with Decadent. So the molding can take a little bit, um, a little bit a while to start. So talking a little bit about Conan Exiles. Conan Exiles is a game that it was initially released in 2017. It was an early access title, and uh, initially I think Funcom intended to release this game um, until the last, uh, the last month or the end of the year of 2017. And I thought to myself at that time that that would be really ambitious and they probably wouldn't be able to do it. And so I was right. Uh, the game was delayed until 8th of May and then it was released as a full game. So first things first, when you start the game you need to select uh, if you want a male character or a female. So usually I like to auto-representative myself. I like uh, uh, to try to mimic what I am and usually I select male. But, you know... <laughs> Graphics have been evolving and I think I do prefer to go with the female and I want to create in here something exotic So about the race you have multiple races which you can select. I think everyone have 
um, its own perks and advantages. I don't want to read too much about this, so I'm just going to select, I don't know, North Humor, which is uh, one of the races that I was starting the game and I was fine with it. That is also a revision, which I don't also know too much about it. I'm going to with Frost Giant. There is multiple voices, uh, voices which you can select. Uh, in this case, you have one of me four, but you have like the strong. The gods are watching. You have the desperate. Cut me down, please. <laughs> My God, I don't like it. You have the savage. Cut me down, please. Okay, this seems much better, and you have the stoic. Are watching. I think I'm going to with the, the savage. Are watching. Because it seems like uh, a little bit. Um, it seems more desperate than the the, the desperate one. Okay, so for the add options, um, I'm not going to. I'm going to give a little bit more darker tone to our girl, and probably I'm going to change the haircuts. There is multiple haircuts which you can select in this game. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff. Uh, could be more, but still, it's a it's a fair it's a fair amount of uh, customization that you have in here, and probably I'm going to create a little bit of an exotic girl with. Uh, Probably this type of white that resembles the Witcher, and I don't know. Maybe I want it. Uh, oh, I can turn the head. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. So I was expecting like okay something simpler like this. I think this is okay. Okay. For the eyebrows, I'm going to stick with uh, white. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to create some sort of a Witcher, eyeshadows, I want something crazy, I don't know, I think this is fine, and the whips I'm going with black, and yeah, this is nice. For the face details you can customize multiple stuff, just like mostly on Bethesda games, and you have here the eyes which I'm going with... Uh, with this color right now so okay so body features this you can adjust the size of your character I'm going with Miz uh, this game allows you to have full nudity and this really means that you are able to see um, stuff like the girl's vagina or the man's penis and the girl's boobs bouncing around or the man's penis uh, getting affected by the physics you can even adjust the size of the penis or the breasts so it's not really the thing that I do want so I'm going with none because I'm expecting YouTube to kill me off at the source of these videos if I display any nudity so I'm not going to display any nudity okay despite yeah we are on Singapore we are allowed to use it so for the physics this is pretty much um, how much muscle your character has so I'm going with the minimum because I like um, I like good looking woman okay don't get me wrong but stuff like this I don't really like it seems like a bodybuilding uh, I'm not really sure if this is related to age or or just muscles but I think it's muscles and personally I don't enjoy that much so I'm going with something like probably like this a little bit of muscles not too much the breast size well this is where where you can make your dreams come true and <laughs> I'm going to have a mid-range because I like a good balance between uh, big boobs or um, or small boobs I don't want uh, to have girls uh, with so much boobs and then a, a small body it doesn't really make any sense to me so I'm going to to use like off okay so I'm going to finalize the character and let's start so we have here Obscure Angel which is my nick the race condemned to death and exile for crimes including breaking an oath destruction of property contaminating a well and who remove this body living or dead from the cross will be huh? flawed alive along with all the members of their family Ooh. So nobody can help me. So let's start. During the year of the Cobra, a prisoner captured by unknown means was transported into the exiled lands, crucified and left to die for crimes that they may or may not have committed. Death comes swiftly on black wings until fate intervenes. Yeah. 
Thirsty, dead woman. Shall I cut you down from that corpse tree? It might kill you. You civilized women are soft. Your lives are not nailed to your spines. Where I come from, we kill our enemies in battle. We don't leave them in the desert to die like dogs. So, you live again, dead woman. This land does not love men. You are marked. The ghost fence wearing that. <laughs> it might have been kinder to leave you on the cross. Live, love, burn with life, slay and survive. We will meet again, dead woman. So now that the cutscene has been finished, it seems that Conan is now threatened to be to have his family killed. Okay, and we are now in game, so we can now have a better look at the character that we did create in here. So it looks uh, pretty to me, with a nice amount of hoops and also a nice ass. Okay, so. <laughs> So let's proceed. So we have a ton of stuff that we can de can do in here, but first we have some objectives like um, it is separated by chapters. So you have 10 chapters of objectives that you need to complete. And for now we have uh, simple objectives like climb, drink, eat, uh, use a bad roll, and clothe yourself. I think she's uh, well clothed already. I don't think that I want to to dress her more than this, but uh, okay, I, th I think I need to do it. Anyway, so we need to slay a monster, craft a tool, find signs of in um, intelligent life, kick and dodge. So, this is our first set of objectives that we need to complete, and uh, the first one you can get intelligent life just at the very beginning. Behold, bonded one, the very boundaries of civilization. Beyond the passage of our highways, by the wild places of the world, where untamed savages make endless war upon each other. You cannot pass into the endless wastes enslaved. Your bonding prevents it. Return. Follow the road. Any road. All roads lead to the city. Okay. So I think we are done in here, and let me show you the map. So basically we are starting the game in here, in the middle of the desert. This is uh, pretty much the desert, and you can point out markers if you want to, to add. This is very useful, because the game is not going to point to every stuff on the map, so you need to, to make it yourself. And the map is actually a lot big, it's, it's, it's really big. Look at this, there is a lot of stuff in here that sh that you can do. And so I think I will be starting right now. I think I never started the game uh, so much to the right. So I have really no idea what I'm going to encounter in here. 
So below the health bar and stamina you can see the amount of um, thirsty that she, she has or uh, how hungry she is, the temperature and uh, the weight that she's carrying. Okay, so you can't transport every item that you want. Uh, it's not like that. And you have here um, some recipes that you can craft like clothing and stuff like that. You can spend points on the attributes. As you can see, uh, you have the experience. <coughs> And you have the feats. This is um, where you unlock stuff like, um, how can I say, like tools. Every time you earn like a point, you can waste it in stuff, uh, extra stuff that you will be able to craft after you spend those points. You also you also have some um, some stats and nothing special. You have the journey, which is what I did show to you. You have clans if you play online, I guess, and the map that I that I already did show to you. So. Let's run. We need to get out of this desert because it's it's very heat. It's very hot in here, so it's not a good thing to, to stay in here, as you can expect. And I will start to grab already uh, some items like um, getting plants of fiber, okay, seeds and so of insects. So this allows you to eat and um, there is no problem with um, uh, getting uh, toxic. Because not all the food is great, but insects, curiously in this game, there is no problem in, in eating them, even without uh, without getting a little bit of fire on it. I have a little bit of trouble to speak English, you might already notice that. Okay, so we have a lot of points of fiber, so I think we are now about to, um, to dress our girl in here. So let's just build in here some clothing, craft some of it. And I think we should be able to go now. So I will collect some branches, which is also very important. Okay. And I will continue to get fibers, plant fibers, because this is very important. What I'm noticing is that she is really getting thirsty. So I think we can't be in here too much time on the middle of the desert. It might not be the best idea in the world, you know because it's, it's really getting hot and I will get some rocks by now, might be useful okay because I, I really want to craft like an axe or something just right away so we are able to craft an axe I'm going to craft it and I will run away from here we really need to get out of this place Okay, so we now have an axe. Also, you have a first person book if you want. So, if you want, you can. Holy shit! Okay, it's nothing, it's nothing. This is scripted, it happens every time you start a game. Uh, it's just for you to read this message. God, curse this sandstorm. We were forced to take refuge before the wind scoured the skin from our faces. There is something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins, and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. The men are scared. I've put them to work crafting rudimentary weapons and torches from the loose stones and rough plants that dot this place. I've yet to meet a beast that liked fire, or the bite of the axe. So, okay, message is done, and basically, if those storms were already bad, we know that uh, we don't really want to mess around with those storms because they include beasts and all types of monsters so it's not good so to complete other objective uh, I want to show you that you are able to climb on, on these games the mini is very important so you are not able to climb like forever okay because it wastes stamina so you need to be careful and you can't kind of climb uh, etern uh, for the eternity without um, falling Okay, so, okay, it's fine, so I'm going to get out of this place because I need to get a drink and above all I also need something to eat because she's getting angry and thirsty and I really, okay, to eat I think I can do this okay, I can eat some insects, but this doesn't really feel too much uh, you know the stomach, it's just uh, kind of a quick thing so it's not a big thing. So those are all styles, so I don't want to get close to them, as you can expect. But uh, I really need to get some water because 
This is not good. Oh no. I don't like this. It's a big fall. We need to find a river so we can book to the map. We are very close to a river. And we can drink water from... Oh shit, this is a big drop again. This is not good. Okay, I think I was sawing the river already. And she's really thirsty. I wasn't really expecting this. I know the, the temperature is really hot, but... Damn. She's going really fast. Come on. I was thinking that I had created some clothing, but uh, for some reason... It isn't available yet, so let's drink water. Okay, we are fine now, I guess. But let's look to the items. I, I had an idea that I had created... Like this... Ah, oh, probably I didn't. Sorry, guys. This... And this. Okay. So this should allow us to, to fight a little bit better the heat. Okay, we already have... Uh, some sandals, some shoes. Okay, so I'm, I'm expecting to have now some braced wrists or wrists or whatever. And should have now a pair of legs. Uh, uh, legs, oh my god, she has legs. A pair of, um, I don't know how to say this. Some jeans, okay. It's not jeans, but let's call it jeans, okay. Okay, it's, it's there written. I think I can watch that. I'm sorry for my bad English. It's, okay, some leggings. It seems like some shorts. Shorts, okay. And now we're going to have some some shirts, okay. So let's check it out. And there we go. Some shirts with some nice side boobs. Okay, awesome stuff. So what do, you, do we want to do next? So we have a lot of objectives yet. We need a better row. We need to slay, uh, you know... A monster or anything we need to kick and you need to dodge so these two last ones are pretty simple to dodge we just need to press alt key and to kick we just need to press control so both of them are already done and we need now to slay or use a bad roll so to slay I think we need to build the appropriate weapons for that so for that to happen uh, we have here the warrior which you can unlock we have three points available so I think I can unlock that and we can build like a, a stone sword. Okay, but for now I'm going already to start to get some items. Okay, so I'm going to get some moods. This is very useful. Probably I can build a pickaxe already. I think so. Let me. Yes, I have that possibility. Let me go here and build a pickaxe. Because I, I can get some some stones more quicker with the pickaxe, the same way I get wood more quicker with, uh, you know, with this axe. So, okay, we already have the pickaxe, so this should be fine. Let me just... We have a lot of stone right now, so it should be easy to, to get the items that we need to do the, you know, the sword. So we have here our sun sword. Oh, we need twines. Uh, so in order to produce twines, we need uh, fibers. I'm not really sure if what I have it is enough. So if I search in here for twines, um, okay, we are able to get um, 12 of them. I'm going to craft 10. I think it's enough. Okay. And I'm going to raise this and get our stone sword. I'm even going to put it in front, I'm not sure if that is even possible. Okay, but we are crafting a sword, so I think we can slay an animal or anything like it, okay? And with this we also completed um, an objective that I think it wasn't really listened to the, to the first chapter, but yet it was listened to the second chapter, so I wanted to, to slay an enemy, you know, uh, if I wanted to slay an enemy, I mean, I really wanted to have a good weapon and not fight with my own, my bare hands or anything, because it's it's kind of complicated. 
So we have there some basic enemies. So we have uh, these weird enemies that should be quite easy to, to fight, I guess. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Didn't go so well. Okay, done. So we were able to get this. And we are able to harvest from them by using the axe but they just as they just have height which is not very good i can try to get food from from this deer but i'm not really sure if this is going to work okay i'm going to run away from here because uh, there is there is uh, enemies in here and one of the the easiest things on this game for you to you know to get food is stolen eggs from these animals but of course the mother and father won't be happy by this so we need to run away as quick as possible and we need to eat hit a little bit more and eat a little bit more so by this we just have one objective left for the first chapter where we need to to, to create a bedroll so we are close to to finish up this first video i want to separate the videos either for chapters or for the minutes that we are playing okay so okay also I can spend points on her right now so I think uh, we should have in here some attributes I want to spend in survival so we have a lot of attributes that where we can spend so we can spend on vit vitality agility strengths I want to spend a lot on this so I think it's fine we have here some enemies I will fight a little bit longer these ones. This is the, the easiest way to get experience is to fight. Okay, come on. I can't attack. Okay, we got some feral flesh, which means that we can cook uh, some meals. If you eat feral flesh just like this in raw, you will get uh, toxicity and will start to boost health so you need to build like a campfire for that and I'm not really sure if we are able to do it so to build a campfire you need to unlock this okay and we should have now these on the inventory I think yeah it's here so we need to 12 stones and 5 branches which is not much and I will also craft um, I will try to craft a fiber roll, but it seems that I need some branches for that to happen. But for for now, I think I'm just going to put a, a campfire in here. Okay. And I will open up. And you can put, like, branches in here. And um, the food that you want, for example. I'm not sure what it is. Where the hell do I have the food? I mean, oh, it's here. So you can put all the food in here. But I think I need more branches than this. This is not going to last long. So I need to get more branches, you can collect from the ground, or you can simply take a tree down and you get wood and branches for that. Okay, so uh, let's just put more branches in here, okay, this should be enough, and let's burn it. And if you wait a little bit longer, you will start to, to have some shredded roast, which you can eat and get a, a very satisfied meal. Which I think it's an objective from the second chapter, but still it's kind of a necessity uh, in this game for you to have um, kind of a, a good time for you to, to be, you know, relieved with uh, the health system and uh, the eating food. Okay, so I'm going to eat. Okay, and I'm going to eat a little bit more. And a little, bit, a little bit more. So we have stomach full and our girl is completely full of water. So everything is just going fine with us. So by now I want to create a bedroll just to finish this video. Okay, with the first chapter. So we have here... Oh shit. What's this? Okay, somebody is not really liking our company in here. So I'm going to be a little bit more to this side. Okay, I think it should be fine. So we have a fiber roll, and one of the things that I do struggle with this game is that they are very nitpicky where you place, um, you know, these items. Fortunately, I think it's possible to put it in here, but if you have kind of um, an inclined terrain, like it's more on di diagonal and not completely horizontal, 
you going you are going to have trouble in putting this you need to to, to rotate it and stuff like that in order to to be placed in the grounds okay so this this could be done completely automatically but they decided that you need to do it and i think it, that is really weird okay so let's just use the fiber roll to to sweep in this game you don't sweep you just get like a spawn point update which uh, if you die i think you spawn in here basically i think this is necessary for the servers but okay i think that's exactly how the game works and with this i think the first episode it's completely done it's not difficult but if you are new to this game and you never saw like a playthrough or anything related to this game you might struggle to and lose some time to understand how this game works and instead of doing this in 20 minutes you probably will last one hour or two which was the first time that i took to learn how this game did work okay so guys that's all for now that i want to show you about uh, conan exiles i hope to see you soon on thursday i will release a, a second a second episode on thursday so hope you enjoy it and hope you did enjoy it and i do hope to see you soon goodbye